Hey guys, this is Shirish and you are on Bonsai and Gardening Zone. And this video is all about how to revive a dying plant and identify all the signs of plant damage and the best solutions for any issue a plant can have. So watch this entire video to know tried and tested hacks to save a dead plant. Guys, you saw a nice plant in a shop or nursery. You brought it in your home and for months it did great. But suddenly it started to decline and you are wondering what went wrong. Is it dying? Can I save it? Well guys, if your plant has turned brown and lost leaves, don't give up on it. Even if a plant looks dead, doesn't mean that it is dead. There is possibility that you can revive almost dead plant if the plant still has some live branches or stem. Though diagnosing that what's wrong with your plant is not always so easy. The problem could be too much sun or very less, a dry climate or just poor soil, maybe overwatering or underwatering, over fertilization or even some disease. Most people immediately assume that they should water their plant, but an extra dose of water can actually harm a dying plant and things become worse. So the question is, can you revive a dying plant? And the answer is yes. First of all, the dying plant's root must be alive to have any chance of coming back to life. Some healthy white root means that the plant has a chance to come back. It's even better if your plant's stem still shows the signs of green. Now guys, this is a hibiscus plant and it is dying. I was out of the town for few days and meanwhile this plant has been overwatered. I am pretty sure that this is because of root rot which caused by overwatering or fungal infection. Now I'll show you how to save this dying plant. To get started, I trim back all the dead leaves so the root have less to feed and can recover more efficiently. Next, I'll keep trimming the dead part of the branches until I see green. With each trim, I'm checking the color of the center of stem. Even if your stem appears dead, you may find it's still alive and green in the center. See? This branch is still green, that means it has a high chance to survive. Ideally new stems will grow from these trimmed stems. But this is not sufficient if roots are rotting. Now I start working on the roots. I am taking this plant out of this pot. See this root ball is not looking healthy. I'll remove all the soil from the root ball. Do it very gently. Make sure not to damage feeder roots. Now I clean the roots throughout with water. Now these roots are clean and free with the old soil. I have cut all the rotten and soggy roots. See there are still some healthy white roots. Now time for the magic potion. Yes, it's hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide helps aerate soil which should help to prevent future case of root rot. When it is absorbed into the soil, the hydrogen peroxide breaks down and releases oxygen. These extra high oxygen levels will make sure your roots are healthy and strong. I dilute it in water by adding about 10 ml hydrogen peroxide in 200 ml of water. I am dipping these roots in it for about 2 minutes. After this, wash the old pot throughout and sun dry it so that if there is any old infected soil, then it would not infect new soil. Now I put this brick chip on the drainage hole to stop soil to drain out. Now I am filling it with new well drained potting soil. I'll keep this pot in shady area where it will get some indirect sunlight. 
It can take anywhere between a few weeks to a few months until your plant makes a full recovery. So be patient and keep a close eye on your plant's progress during this time. Guys, it's been a month since I reported this plant. And as you can see, this is back to the life. Many new shoots has come and now this plant is looking healthy. Now you know how to check for your plant's chance of living which is almost dead. But unlike this hibiscus plant, most solutions to your plant's health issues are very easy to fix, either it is indoor or outdoor house plant. All these sick plants give warning signs of distress. All you need to do is to get familiar with certain warning signs. In most of the cases, your plant suffers from too much water when tips of the leaves start turning brown like this. This may be the sign that you are overwatering. Stop adding fertilizer or plant food to your plant's soil until it's fully recovered. The roots are very sensitive and need time to heal. You will know that your plant is fully recovered when the new leaves of the plant return to its original green color and the soil is neither too moist nor too hard. Water only when the top one inch of the soil is dried. Too much direct sun can scorch the leaves, causing them to curl or turn white and drop. All plants respond differently to sun. Some plants thrive in full sunlight, while others cannot handle the stress of direct sunlight. Sudden changes in a plant's environment, like relocating to a different spot, can put your plant in shock. Look up to your plant's specific sun need so you will know that exactly how much sun your plant desires and where it can thrive the most. Keep your sun damaged plant in shade. Plant will probably drop the damaged leaves so don't panic. Plants are the perfect place for common pests to invade. Thankfully, most pests are very easy to get rid of. Mix 3 ml of neem oil in 1 liter of water and spray it every 20 days or when you spot any damage. Viruses also damage plants and it shows symptoms like discoloration and distortion in leaves, shoots, stems, flowers or fruits. Sometimes virus eventually kill the plant. Severely infected plants can never be revived and there is nothing you can do about it. To stop transmitting infection from one plant to another, you should discard or burn the infected plant. Never use that plant for composting. Also never reuse that soil as well because these pathogens and viruses live for years in the soil. Sometimes your plants may be hungry and in need of the nutrition. This can happen if you have not added fertilizer or plant food to replenish the nutrition in the soil your plant uses up. A lack of nutrition can inhibit a plant's overall ability to thrive since it has nothing to fuel and support its growth. Add some compost or liquid fertilizer twice a month to give required nutrition your plant need. If the roots are wrapping around the interior of the pot or poking out of the root ball and drainage holes, it's time to repot your plant. Choose a pot that is slightly larger than the root ball and make sure the pot has sufficient drainage holes on the bottom. Replace the old soil with rich, organic and well-drained soil. Guys, you have to diagnose a dying plant's problem in time to cure it. But if you feel that a plant like this has crossed the point of returning after trying to bring it back to life, don't waste your time and effort on it. Just let it go and start again with something fresh. 
Well guys that's all for now. Hope you find this video helpful. Please like share and comment on this video in comment section. Consider subscribing this channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications of new videos. Thanks for watching and keep on gardening.